The locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from a woman called Katya, the cultist had been keeping imprisoned here, I managed to give them the slip. Luckily, I was able to avoid casualties in the process. Katya mentioned an engineer called Crest, who's hiding from the cultists in the port. He could help us fix the Aurora and cross the bridge. Now seems to be a good time to pay him a visit. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care? Artyom? The scourge of the Dark Ones? <laughs> Go get them all, Artyom. They'd better hope they can run fast enough.
You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers are never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running, Mili. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Bli. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, <laughs> tsarfish live there, you know. Stupid bastard. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now.
Here is my cave. And this is where I live. Not the palace. One. Oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo or grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty... Place. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Managed to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come, and right on time, too. <laughs> you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. But this, well, that's another story, though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, it's nothing, but... You come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. Just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away, and I consider myself lucky. Now, you could take the zip line down, just hook up, and uh, away you go. Woohoo, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. So,
I saw that huge thing, like real huge. It went straight for us, clanging, shrieking, smoke everywhere. I only had time to say, Lord, save us, and it broke through. We were lucky we got away alive. That's just hellish, running people over with a train. <laughs> well, they are heretics. What do you expect? We tried shooting at them, but it would take a cannon to do any damage. So, Father Salentius forgave us for not doing our duty, but still gave us penance for leaving the post, which is another sin. So, why did you get the pen? Ah, that was my Damashka. She scolded me with a pot full of boiling water, and I just swore at her. Our Holy Father said hitting her could make our marriage even stronger. But running my mouth like that was a grave sin. So he sent me fishing. With no gun. Ah, uh, don't you worry. It's a quiet place. Nobody comes here. Not even the mutants, really. The Tsarkis does feed here from time. But we, the faithful, have nothing to fear. The fish? Yeah, I, I, I don't fear, for I hold the true faith, but... The fish comes here to feed. Yes, but the fish would never touch true believers, so no fear there. Of course, if your faith isn't strong enough, then it's another can of worms. The fish feels it and gobbles the non-believer whole. The believer standing right next to him doesn't even get splashed with water.
Now will you just look at what the cat dragged in? Oh, well, uh, hello. A heretic! Did you come to tempt the faithful or to terrorize us with your gun? That won't happen. Some hero you are, menacing Anna. Well, I'll be. He doesn't turn his satanic light on us. His gun is holstered. He's a human after all, even though he is a heretic. He has some sense even. His soul may not be completely lost. You wish. Do they even have a soul, them heretics? Look at his armor. Yeah, that's a work of Satan, all right. I wish our paladin said something like that, though. Of course, blessed by Father Salentius. We'd never have lost the train depot or the tower to those bandits. We'd still have it all, and they'd all be in hell. We'd be cutting them down like dogs. It is temptation. Temptation by technology and its satanic power. You're right. But really, damn. Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
on, we're coming for you. God damn it. It's good I can't found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <clears throat> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Stepan, persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, they're these huge humanoid robots, all plastered with stars and stripes. With nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. Nah, uh, I'm being serious. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, let me be serious, too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? A fence, some guard towers, patrols, buildings. Bases look like bases. Nothing like that around here. We have yet to see anything even remotely resembling one. But if we do, I'll be sure to go say hi. If I can still remember how to speak English. Uh, all right, D don't be mad. Do you guys really believe you're gonna see any Americans here? I was hesitant at first, but now I think I'm the only American we're ever gonna see out here. <laughs> well, that's fine by me, since we can always talk things out with you, Sam.
Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still! And I told him I could help. I'm a medic. I also told him about the bridge, that it could be lowered. Yes, I even told him about the carriage in the train depot. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. Uncle Artyom, please, let us come. I will be good. I will help with everything. I will. Oh, Nastya, quit buggy, Uncle Artyom. Oh, don't you worry, Nastya. Uncle Artyom will talk to our commander and sort it all out. Whoa, Uncle Artyom is more important than that scary commander with metal legs. <laughs> oh, darling, you can't say that. Well, Uncle Miller is the chief here, but he does listen to what Artyom thinks. Doesn't he, Uncle Artyom? Uh, I was going to go and get that carriage myself, but no dice. Leaving your post, enemy court-martial, you know the drill. So now, it's up to you and Anna to persuade him. Will you take us away from here, please? Of course we will. Don't you worry. Glad to see you alive and well, Artyom. The guys are coming soon, and bringing the missing one, too. <laughs> See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Artyom, have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traders' boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll, and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. 
Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich, no two ways about it. We went to hell and back, her and I. So much stuff we hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench. With storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in their best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> You will have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your Tihar. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer.
Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. And you, Stepan, thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. Uncle Artyom, Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? I just wanted to ask, there, where the big tanks are, if you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? A demon took him, a flying one. It was scary. They live there. It took Teddy to his children. <sighs> I miss Teddy so much. I wanted to go visit him, but Mom won't let me, because there are electric demons too. I'm telling the truth. They come out at night and they light up. So pretty. And scary too, a bit. As soon as it reaches 50, it, you know, the whole thing starts hissing like crazy. Tak, 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 let me take a look. Around here. I wonder where could it be. Oh, you have a busted seal right here. See for yourself. Oh, so that's the problem. Hey, Artyomich, I'm making myself useful here. Glad we've got that figured out. <laughs> Only 30 major malfunctions left, huh? Artyom, the workbench is free at the moment, so if you need to craft any supplies or change your weapons, you're welcome. Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid cellar yet. You know, I didn't even get scared when I fell. Because I knew you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, go. Come back soon and stay away from the hotspots. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melodies so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six-string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom.
you fucking bitch! You ass, you motherfucker! Fucking bitch! You fucking sure? Yes, there's just nobody with, I beg you. Hmm. Looks like the door ain't coming. So, should we let the sad go? Sure thing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. Yeah, sucks to be you, I gotta say. Nobody to cough up the door at all. you see that look on his face? <laughs> the fuck really thought we were going to let him... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
want you to pray for me. Just let me go. This place ain't the fuck? Good There's just no people. Yeah. What's going on? Starfish, I'm tiny, please. Simon, the bridge is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first, and fuck that noise! I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red, though. So I'm sending Surge to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers, they were offering good cash for it, and get that ferry. Or a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. Time is money.
Thank you. Thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandias, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to the starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul. Well, hello, my blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you were headed to the terminal for the rail car. Then let me fill you in. The terminal can only be entered by water. Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimal mutants, or, or so it seems. See that gas station? It's a bandit hideout. They ambush the fanatics. These guys seem to be drawn to the terminal like flies to you know what. The bandit caught three of them on my watch. Look at the building over there. Bandits keep captives there for ransom or something. But they sure go to town on the poor guys. I asked the colonel for permission to go in three times. But no dice. I understand why. But we have always protected common folk from low lives like these. So I'm having a hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There is a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise an open attack. The bridge is in full lockdown. None of the armed dudes ever show themselves. They definitely expect us to attack, so there is no reason to be concerned about them now. Hey, it's your choice when to move out, but the bandits should be easier to avoid in the dark. In any case, I'm going back to my post.
Why do we keep the dumbasses locked up? Well, that's a dumb question. What are we supposed to do here? <laughs> the boys are supposed See? to be coming soon. He's a greenhorn, but he's right. Good time. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell should I stick around here just more? The whole gang could get Don't eaten matter. here. These asshats could have squealed on us and the plan would go tits up. You see where this is going? Yeah. We'd be cut up. That's if we got they it up. I see. Why didn't we shoot them on the spot then? You expect Glamour himself to know once he gets the caravan? <laughs> ah. Well, the caravan has a tugboat. Why would they need to roll? So that you could ask. We need them both for the big quest. The barges and the slaves are a small train. Wow. And what is the big plan? Claiming the bridge. We kill the bridgeheads, and with such a fork on the ship, we get to roll the river. We will be stinking rich. All the gang leaders will line up to serve us. You catch the drift. <laughs> Damn, that's what I call a plan. Gliago knows what's up. Hey, bro, why did those ass had sneak around here? Were they looking for us? You wish. They were going to fight the fire. Why the fuck do I get to stick around here? Yeah. If anyone needs me to. You're shooting me now. Yeah, sure. It's the real deal, man. They're all fucking mad in that. What's over there? You're here already, so I could you. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> How are they going to do that? No, nothing. All and all. Damn. <laughs> Damn, they must be stoned. They sure seem so. There's a whole fucking bunch of their corpses hey. there. So, what do you think your boss tells his people, huh? <laughs> they died because they didn't believe strongly enough. So they were sinners. <laughs> Damn, you're killing me now. <laughs> yeah, they all put up my too. when the heathens ambushed us. Please, don't leave us here.
Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Prayer is great, but I'd like to thank you with something more substantial. Listen close. There's a room in the terminal. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, take this key. You're a sinner anyway, and there might be something of use for you there. Simon, you mustn't. Celentius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. Oh, of course not. I won't tell. Let's give him some time to rest, then we'll walk back to the bridge, with the Lord's help. Yes, his will be done.